Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Down Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... No, what the hell was that? No, you just said something about Shock the Monkey. Shock the Monkey? You ever heard that song from Peter Gabriel? <laughs> what? <laughs> TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. You're the man on the sticks. We're playing Madden 20, and J Jonas just sat here before the video and said, Shock the Monkey, Shock, Shock the Monkey, and then continued on with his, his normal video spiel. I went to go mute the sound, and I shocked myself on the oh, computer. Okay. And then I was like, Dude. I said, Shock, and then that song popped in my head. I was like, Shock the Monkey, Shock, Shock the Monkey. I thought you like had like a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Like, I didn't know what happened, dude. All right. You're it like, scared me. I, I was concerned about you're, you. You're like, are you having a stroke? You got to check up on your strong friend, you know? <laughs> Just making sure you're good. If your good. strong friend looks weak, you better check on yeah, him. If your strong friend just walks through the house snapping his fingers <laughs> saying, shock the monkey, probably need to look out for him. <laughs> True. All right. Oh, God, Jesus. Uh, as always, playing offense only, simming that D. Right. Using the balance playbook. Amen. Play Amen. Amen, brother. All Madden Arcade mode. You shock Yeah, that. behind the scenes look. You shock you. <laughs> God damn it. With your bad self. You can't say <laughs> God damn it, Jonas. I absolutely can't. You absolutely can't. Why gonna, can't you say I'm gonna that? I'm going to send that again. Well, oh, you, you can't even say God damn it on regular TV. Really? Yeah. Why? Because this is a Christian onus. Oh, dude. Oh, I thought you were messing with me. No, I don't feel like it. I really, I really think you can't. You can say whatever you want. I I, well, yeah, no, I'm going to say GD from now on. G darn it. Gosh oh, dang it. Cheese and rice. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of my mom's boyfriends used to say cheese and rice. Uh, I, like, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> that makes me not happy. Cheese and rice? Yeah, Why? It's cringe. <laughs> it's like a dad joke. Yeah, yeah, it's around there. Oh, God. Hi, Heinz. When I was a kid, I used to say F U P P. F U P P? Yeah, so say it. Say F U P P. F U P P. No, no, not the Jesus Christ, Jonas. The word that oh, it's spelled. Yes. Oh, you would say that out I'd loud. I'd be like, yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? F U P P. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that worked pretty well. Yeah, I'm sure your mom loved it. You know, it was funny. <laughs> it was it. I don't think it was. Probably. I think I was saying F U P P. That time I got kicked out of the movie theater. Well, I didn't get kicked out, but I got asked to stop swearing at Street Fighter. Cause you're screaming what the fup yeah, <laughs> yeah and i was just i would say fup all the time i tried the same thing but i said used to say f-u-c-t oh well, no you can't get away with that <laughs> you can't get away i'm like what it's f-u-c-t what are you talking about no you got the word out you can't just add like a, a an l on the end of it and be like it's a different word no, but there's no K, there's a T instead. No, there's no K. <laughs> I don't know if you realize this, but the K is not necessary for it to be offensive. <laughs> I didn't say that, but that was a good joke. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Jesus. I remember that clothing line that had that, right? <laughs> Did they? Yeah, it was something about, didn't they have an F-U-T-C clothing line? Oh, something. I remember it used to be on a shirt. Either way, I think it was something like that. I don't know. Uh, do you have any, like, loyalty to, to brands of clothes or, like, anything else, Jonas, that you can think of? Uh, people probably at certain times in my life thought I did, but it was just because I liked the clothing and I may not have been able to find other clothes that I liked, but I never really cared that much. Oh, you talking, have, you're talking about your Echo addiction. I used to have a lot of Echo clothes, but that was because... They, I could find them in my size, and I liked how they looked. But it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't like that. I only cared about. Echo. You're literally wearing an Echo <laughs> know, shirt right, right now. <laughs> you think about it. It's just a sweatshirt I've had forever. <laughs> Back in like eighth grade, I had a ton of And One shirts when those came out. Uh, like, Here's a straw because you suck, and like things like yeah, that. Yeah. But I didn't. Ca uh, no, I don't. And One was you don't have like. Uh, how about even as far as like coffee. Like, will you drink any coffee? Oh, no, dude. I have brands for, like, food. 
Like, here's the deal. Here's what happens. I become brand loyal to a food or a drink or something, and yeah. they always discontinue it. I gotta find something else. Yeah, that does happen a lot. It that does. To me, a ton. It's the, it's the law of averages, man. Yeah. I uh, I don't know if I have necessarily. Ne- Yo, no. That's a hundred percent a lie. I, I like tend to have brand loyalty to things that don't bite me in the butt. Like I was definitely trying Irish Spring, and then it dried my skin out, and now I'm just like a raisin. Uh, how's that Trump loyalty working out for you? Um, <laughs> the Trump loyalty? <laughs> We're not going there, Jonas. We're not going to talk politics. I'm joking. But yeah, dude, I do buy the same brands of stuff. Tend- yeah, but to. I'm going to tell you right now, man. That coffee you drinking over there? Mm-mm. That ain't it. Hills Bros. That ain't it. Hills Bros. I love, dude. That ain't it. And I can't even buy it in the store no more. That ain't it. It ain't what? The good coffee? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's trash. You got to get some I like of that. generic coffee. Have you ever had that freshly ground? Ooh, Bro. you keep it in the freezer type-ish. Bro, no. It is amazing. Oh, I bet. Oh, my God. It is Why amazing. Why some? Why would I buy you coffee? Because you want me to be happy. I don't even drink coffee. Because you want me to be happy. I don't care about your happiness. <laughs> you do a little bit. A little bit, but not enough to buy <laughs> not you coffee. Enough to buy you anything. I don't. Coffee. It ain't eight fifty worth of caring <laughs> going on over here. Eight fifty for like three pots. No. I used to uh, like. I remember I would just drink regular coffee and cappuccino and stuff, just like the store boss yeah. stuff. Just walk into a gas station and get a coffee and a cappuccino. And my uh, my mother and uh, my father, they would drink like eight o'clock bean, which is like the stuff that you go in the store and you grind it there in the store and oh, then you yeah, put it yeah. in the bag. Yeah. And I was always like, what's the difference? And they were like, try it. And I was like, it is so much smoother. The taste is like even. It's not burnt. It's. Mm, mm. I yeah, mean, I don't well, know, I was, dude. I. Uh, I. I don't know, man. Treat yourself, Jonas. You know, treat but your you know taste what? buds. I don't want co- I don't want to like coffee. That's why I drink <laughs> it black. I it's- mean, you can still drink it black, but that doesn't just mean you have to put like literal uh, dog feces in your mouth. <laughs> the H E B brand is not bad. H E B makes some good stuff, dude. I'm, I'm not buying it. You don't like you're just a, you're an H E B cyst. I am an H E B cyst, but I'm also a, uh, a company brand cyst as well. I'm not drinking your company brand. Your great value coffee. I'm not drinking your food club. That little your formerly food club, now great value. I'm not drinking your smart choice. Smart. <laughs> it's, it's something out there. I'm. Co- Smart choice. Of Kirkland. Yeah, I'm not. Kirkland touch- is Costco. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not touching any of that stuff, man. Oh, yeah, Sorry. Wanna, you don't want to help out Costco? No. They're already getting the money, dude. Like Are that's they? how much like I want I want to know the I want to know the splits. If they sell somebody else's product versus if they sell on. That's just like straight profit, oh, right? Oh, sure their own. They make a ton of money, dude. Yeah, that's I mean, not, The Costco not brand it. is actually pretty good. Most of their stuff. The Kirkland brand is not bad. It's, you, it's really a genius business plan that they oh, got going Jonu, on. Oh, Jonu, look at the exploit. Look at this dude. He's a big old boy chasing him down, and he's going to get him. Can't do it. Can't do it. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. I Jonu look, on fire. I really want to know how much money they're making off of me. Who, Costco? Um, how about gas? Do you only go to one gas station? Nope. You go to any gas station? Yes. You know, I, I, the reason I try to only go to like a certain like I usually try to go to no more than two different types yeah, of gas station. Me, you told me you are brand loyal for gas. They told me is that like you should always put the same kind of gas in your car when I got like my first vehicle, and I was like, oh really? I don't know if there's any truth to that though. Oh, AJ Brown faking people out. Oh my God, look at him just destroying folks, folks. <laughs> <laughs> go to the end zone. He got it. <laughs> You all right? <laughs> shock the monkey. Shock, shock the monkey. <laughs> Stroke it out. Do you think, is there any truth to that? Oh, the different sediments in the gas cause harm? If you go to yeah, different- like if you don't put the same gas in your car, I was always told you should like try like to your, stick. Like your GM is like always fond of that BP soot. When is the last time show- you've seen a BP? When was the last time you've seen a GM car? Yeah, that's true. I think they closed. Uh, Isn't Cadillac GM? I, don't know. I think they're all Chevy. GMC is GM, maybe. I don't know, dude. I don't care about cars. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I haven't seen a BP down here yeah, at all. Yeah, they ruined the golf, dude. Yeah. Texas is pissed. Uh, that's a I good don't point. know. I really don't know. I, yeah, there is a that is true. That did happen. 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, there really isn't a lot of BPs down here, is there? I have not seen one. Shell and 7 Eleven and Valero. They did not have shells in the New York too much. Really? I don't think so. Not the part I was in. I'm trying to think what up. Remember, you know, I haven't seen Amico? No, I've seen those. Down here? Yeah. Really? I have. Amco, A M C O. A M A M A C O. Amico. Is there? Wait a minute. Uh, maybe I've seen an A M C O. Is that a place? Is this thing is an insurance company? <laughs> okay, then maybe I've definitely seen it. I've seen Texaco. Texaco, yeah. Well, that we're in one, Texas. yeah, yeah. Funny you don't see Texacos up north too often. Yeah, go figure. Flying J. Mm. God damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, F, dude. Jonu on fire. <laughs> I didn't mean to there, say it that time, dude. There I'm was sorry. a there was a truck stop, gas station, buffet, gift shop called the Flying J. Yeah, it's Jimmy Haslam's corporation. Who the, the hell is that? Owner. Really? Yeah, he got indicted, I think, on corporate fraud. For the Flying J? Yeah. They did something about, like, screwing over truckers with their mileage or something. Really? Something. Yeah, it happened a few years ago. Don't worry. He still owns the Browns. Does he still have Flying J's? Uh, yeah, dude. I think so. I think he was the CEO. Yo, that was, like, the spot to go to when we were, uh... <laughs> nah, dude, Perkins was the spot. I mean, yeah, but Flying J was a, a good second guess, though. Perkins yeah, was the well, spot. It wasn't open until we were out of high school, though. It wasn't? No. Why do I remember going there so many times? Because it was right by Zach's house. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. Because there was the other gas station right there that you probably always... Because Zach used to work at that subway, and there was a speedway right there. Yeah. So, but the, so I imagine going when you were at Zach's, you probably went to... Okay, maybe to. maybe that's why. It was all it was all proximity-based. Yeah. Yeah. My memories of the of the seven... I mean, of the uh, Flying J. Of the Bulean... Down the here. Bulean Nights. Down here, it's that... Uh, what's the beaver place? Bucky's? Bucky's. Yeah, but that's not like. That's the they're not all over like that, though. I mean, they're all over, but there's like. They're, they'll, they'll put up a sign like for 60 miles. Next Bucky in 47 miles. Next Bucky in 34 not, miles. I'm not going to lie. Bucky's is pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Dude. It's freaking crazy. The there's sheer a... amount of jerky they sell makes me happy. <laughs> is that what they do? They sell <laughs> probably 30 to 40 kinds of jerky. I've only seen it from the outside. You should stop, dude. It's, it's dude. It has so much stuff. Oh I'm not. God. I'm not taking a trip to Bucky's, man. They have like a hundred pumps. I know that. That's <laughs> what I was talking about because they have so many gas pumps. Yeah, dude. And when like, you go inside, they have like fresh food, made to order food. They got jerky. They got all sorts of stuff. Yeah, dude. I don't want. I don't want their any bathrooms of that. are. <laughs> I'm not going to a place to see the bathroom. I'm not. You never know, dude. You might change your life. It might change your life. You're not gonna impress me by how hard you can. How hard make, your bathrooms go? No, no. How hard you can make a department store and a gas station bang to make the perfect child. Not falling for your tricks. Wow. It's not a tourist attraction. It it's, might be. it's a gas station slash Walmart. You can get Bucky shirts and wear. Them. I know. I wouldn't do that. Bucky cups, dude. I've seen those all over the place. Dude, why do they need a Bucky buck? No, Bucky cups, <laughs> not a Bucky buck. <laughs> That's a totally different thing. <laughs> What's a Bucky buck? <laughs> I assume that it's money you can only spend in Bucky's. <laughs> Go get Bucky Bucks for your favorite person you hate. Uh, free Bucky Bucks. 20 fry for every 20 spent. Yeah, I could, yeah. You, you know they already done that. That's the thing. We're not even helping them. We're not telling them. It's they are Christmas time now. They're like, buy $25 in Bucky Bucks and get $20 Bucky Bucks. Exactly. Or whatever the hell they do. We're not telling them anything they don't already yeah, know. We already know that. Oh, he's happy. Let's got him. Jonu, fourth touchdown today. <laughs> Oh, there's Jamie Lee again. <laughs> Why are we always playing Jamie Lee Curtis's team? Constantly, dude. <laughs> Just so happy. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. What was this episode about? Uh, Bucky Bucks. No, before that. Uh, oh, I was talking about brand loyalty. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that. Send your grandma our way because we love the ladies. Ooh, especially the elderly yeah, ones. Yeah, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are Ota.